G'day guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be knocking together a bit of a solar panel stand. Need some solar panels set up for the uh, solar bore. I've got some star pickets, I've got some lengths of timber. Got me petrol powered post hole whacker in a thingy. So we're just going to cobble something together and uh, see what we come up with. So I've driven one picket in. Um, need to get one in at either side here. Put up top rail for the panels to sit on. I've worked out which way is north and we're just going to sort of build it as we go. So here we go. So I just had a bit of a quick think about what I was going to do because I don't really have a plan. With some complex tape measuring and angling and whatnot, I've picked a spot to drill, drill, drive in a short picket. So we're going to have three long pickets at the back, three short ones at the front, and then a rail across each of them and then we'll lay the panels across that. So I've got to cut some star pickets. Alrighty, so I got me three short star pickets, but I just had a thought. If I put the solar panels over there, I just measured up, the cables won't be long enough to reach the control box. So I gotta start again. Like I've only put one picket in. So I'll start off here. Alrighty, we're back where we started. Got one picket in. Now I'll just measure up. The panels are about a meter wide. So I want the edge pickets to be as close as I can, but I've got to leave enough gap to fasten it down into the rail and whatnot, so I'll just guess. Right, I've got it all marked out. I'll bang in one of these short pickets down the front. Tell you what, that picket driver is an absolute weapon. Right, so we've got our three tall pickets put in. One, two, three. Got this bit of uh, timber from a tree. I'm going to secure it along the tops of the poles-ish. I might wire it, I might screw it, I don't know. I'm just going to get it up there, see how it looks, and then fix it there somehow. Right, hey, top rail's on. I couldn't decide whether to wire it on there or screw it on there. So I both wired and screwed it on there. Got to get these three short ones in the front here. Put another beam across there. Then we'll start laying out the panels and see how we're going to lock them down. So we've got the bottom rail secured uh, along those four or three short star pickets we put in. Got that all uh, wired down. I've put these first two panels up and I'm just sort of playing around, seeing how exactly I'm going to fix them to the rails. So. This is a bit of a low budget build. I'm just working with what I got, but I've got a bit of an idea, so I'll get a few screwed down and show you how we did it. Well, there you have it. I've got the four panels on, used a variety of screws and washers and wire and stuff like that. I'm not gonna show you too closely. Um, Cause it's not that flash and it's not that permanent either. I'm just waiting on some real um, solar rails and whatnot, but I got sick of using the the generator to fire up the bore so this will be uh temporarily permanent until i can get the uh right stuff to do it um it's currently just after lunch time it is hot and um, i can't connect up all the panels to the control panel like this so i'll come back this afternoon when the sun's down and hook all that up and then tomorrow we'll give it its first test run just on solar so i'll see you then but hey i'm back I uh, found a couple of blankets, threw them over all the panels, connected them all together. So, I'm going to hit the switch and hopefully it all works. One green light so far. Pump lights come on. Probably won't be able to hear the pump going. Ah, there it is. I can feel it. The water's flowing. Sorry it's not very spectacular, but the, uh, it's currently hooked up, filling up one of the tanks up the top. So there you go. We've got the um, solar panels hooked up to the bore, running through the MPPT controller box that it comes with. 
and I no longer have to start the generator when we want to fill the tanks up, so that's good. Uh, the solar panels themselves, they are 330 watts each. They are Tindo solar, solar panels. Apparently they're Australian made. Um, the guy I bought them off uh, bought a couple of pallets of them. He was a solar installer, but he just had about 10 or 12 left over, so I grabbed these four. Um, yeah, hooked them all together uh, in series. I checked all the specs that it was right for the pump that I have and seems to work. No, no magic smoke escaping from the box. So that's all good. No generator for the water anymore. Lovely. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Goodbye.